Who is Eric Erickson and what is his background? Erickson was born and raised in USA as a member of a Swedish immigrant family. Like his father, he became an oil trader. In 30s he came back in Sweden and got a citizenship. What was the relationship between him and the Nazis? At the beginning of the war, he was selling oil to Germany. That's why he knew critical trade bureaucrats in Berlin. But that was also a problem for him. Because USA had put him a ban list. Why he has been chosen as a spy by OSS? OSS had determined that one of the main weaknesses of Nazi regime was oil. They had to get their hands on as much oil as possible. And it was a good opinion to buy it from a neutral country. Besides, Ericsson could be a very useful source to find out where the Germans' oil facilities and how was they working. And Ericsson was kin to help. In that way, he would be able to clear his name. And above all, he was a perfect candidate for this job. He was a very social businessman. He was raising his fortune by selling oil to Germany. Nobody in Berlin wouldn't be suspicious about him. What was the strategic frame of the plan? Ericsson had two main missions, visiting oil plants of Germany as much times as possible and observe the organization. In that way, he could be able to report Germany's strategic situation on energy. And if possible, he would be trying to gathering information about general issues of war in the aspect of Germans. But in doing so, he should not have seemed curious. What did Ericsson do during his mission? His opening move was to start acting like a Nazi sympathizer. He was acting in happy man who sell them oil. Sometimes, he was arguing loudly with his Jewish friends. By 1942 on, he started meeting his German contacts more often. The war was turning bad for Germany and Russia. That meant, they would need much more oil. Ericsson considered it a great opportunity. After done his visits and come back home, Ericsson was making contact with his case officers to deliver his report. He was never taking any notes while operating in Germany. He preferred memorizing. What can we say about the results of his mission? Ericsson has visited Germany more than 30 times. Based on his reports, OSS bombed the facilities and interrupted Germans' oil operations. Oil has always been a big problem for Germany during World War II. Ericsson's strategic mission became one of the main reasons that situation kept so. Of course Ericsson was not the only cause Nazis suffered by lefting without oil. But the reports Ericsson created gave opportunities OSS what to do about Germany's main weakness.